Hello, and welcome to Rocksmith Plus, the beta that is. If you are like me, then you play Rocksmith 2014 a lot, like 500 hours a lot, and you spent so much money, and it's been so long since we've had a pack for 2014. It's been over a year. We had no idea what was next for Rocksmith. Well, let me show you. Maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were Now today's video is gonna be about just overall what the beta is right now. Now if you want to see someone else's take on this, Ted does a great video on all these things. A chain brain does great videos on this subject. The Riff Repeater does plenty of playthroughs. Griff does great streams also and shows great Rocksmith stuff. They are way better than I will ever be talking about Rocksmith Plus or any other Rocksmith for that matter. And today I just want to do a quick overview on the things that I found most interesting. I will not be going to the Rocksmith Workshop today. I just did a recent video on that and he went over it way better than I ever could. So without further ado, let's get started. And of course, when we're talking about a new rocksmith, yes, there are a ton of songs. You can pause whenever you want. Some standouts for me are Daughtry, there's Eddie Money, and some like little things sprinkled in here or there. And some songs are returning from Rocksmith 2014, but I don't really want to talk about that. I want to talk about the visuals and the complete difference it really is. You don't have to relearn the software, really, of 2014 and Rocksmith Plus, but there are certain things that I do find that are very different. Arpeggios are very different in this game. It only shows the finger placements. It is an open string, it looks like. The first time I played Rocksmith Plus, I was very confused what that meant. I was playing open strings and getting it wrong and very confused what was going on until I started noticing it was a notation change. Um, for um, palm mutes and for fret hand mutes on chords that are continuing, and it's very hard for me to see that. And I really do enjoy how the chords um, are spread out differently along the fret, the note way, and it just is clearer. Clear to now, another thing we gotta talk about is how it's a subscription service, which first thought was, that's a little different, you know, I mean, it makes sense from a business standpoint, and of course I spent so much money on Rocksmith 2014 when it was continually DLC every single week, so it doesn't really change anything in my mind. If I were to ever purchase any, it'd be one year. So I could just like get everything for the entire year. If I dislike it at the end, then I won't do it again. Constant updates for Rocksmith Plus. And a lot of things about this game I really enjoy. Of course, there's the same lead, bass, rhythm. At the moment, there's no multiplayer, which I really, really wish there was. There is no emulated bass, as I'm aware of. One thing I really like is how there are chord charts. Or they're, they're like humming strumming, basically, where it's just the chords at the right places. It's not like super crazy chords, it's just like cowboy chords, or like normal bar chords of the songs. I also enjoy how there's a tab version now of songs. You can't just completely get rid of the Rocksmith format, which I really enjoy, because you know, the point of Rocksmith is to learn Rocksmith. But also, for music learning, yeah, learning tabs is really important. I wish I was better at it myself, and when I try to use it, I... I'm terrible at it. Now I really enjoy how this game presents itself. Just like how there's play, there's learn, there's search. Like it's very easy to just look at and comprehend how to do it. Now when you look at songs, there is no way to just organize by artist or title. You can go to search and search A and do B, but that's very annoying. There should just be a way to just like look at every single song in a list from alphabetical order of the artist or by the song really how you prefer it or i wish in search you could just like hit e flat and then just will show every e flat song instead of having to search a then b which i bet they will fix that in the future it is still a beta after all at the end of the day this is all just beta nothing's final and if you have any questions on the right of the post, beta, Thanks for watching.